once again, glad to have you on. Listen, hey, shout so out to Mill, shout out to Mill City, brother Boxing. I like that, brother. I like that. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. We met on the Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis's press conference. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. Thank you. Yeah, it's cool. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so man um you know watching you guys blossom and you know i never really got to get into your amateur career and bill yeah. haney had a lot of things to say upon like you guys were like judges and yeah and like can you speak a little bit upon that like in your history and boxing absolutely yeah absolutely um and i i gladly um uh, um um talk about that because it needs to be settled see the thing is bro as you got your kids growing up uh, there's a lot of expenses involved you know a lot i mean you know we were going door to door you know selling candy you know showing flyers showing ryan's belts from other uh tournaments just to get some sponsorship just to get some money but then usa boxing hit me up and said hey henry you know we can help you guys uh, with, with, um, with, uh, if you, it's a volunteer thing, it's a volunteer thing, you know, you help us, you know, judge. And then later on, if you're good, we could train you how to do refereeing and all that. But be, let me be specific, not because we want to cheat or anything like that, or that we're, we are cheating. No, no, no. They're helping out because it's a volunteer program and they only give you like, 25 maybe $30 on the whole show. And sometimes you're there for hours, bro. You know, but I have no regrets because I learned a lot. I learned a lot what judges are looking for, referees, you know. I mean, it helps, man. All, it's just knowledge. It's not cheating. It's just knowledge. So when somebody says, oh, you're, your kid only won because you're a judge or you're a referee, I mean, that, that's, that's a bunch of crap, bro, because... I don't judge my own kids. I don't, I don't, I don't referee my own son. Come on, brother. That's cheating. That part is cheating. Sometimes right. I will see my son way on the other end fighting. And I'm thinking, damn, I wish I was in his corner, but I have to do my job because what they do is they allow you to volunteer. But what I like about it, what I did like is that they allow you, they, they, they pay for your hotel. So what's wrong with that, bro? I was sleeping in a car while my kids were, were uh, with, with their friends in their ho hotel. And I said, man, there's got to be a better way because I wasn't making that much money at the time. And then um, so when they offered me this, I was like, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I wear a white shirt. I wear, you know, this and that, you know. But of course, you have to also take exams. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to be a judge or a referee. You got to take proper exams. They do it the right way. It's legit. So what happens is that if you pass the test, then you're in. If you don't pass the test, they're going to say, well, just come another day. But it was fun. I loved it. I wouldn't, man, the High Desert Showdown, bro, there were like 300 fights in one day, sometimes more. I was like, damn, you know. So I'm over here sitting for over 300 fights. Judgy. But I loved it because I got to know everybody. I mean, it was fun. I would I won't even regret that. I, I I man, I miss those days. But you know what? I learned a lot and I'm happy I did. But again, it's not cheating. It's just that USA is kind enough to help people out. And if you qualify, why not? Now so there's um, your answer, and, and I hope people understand it and don't miss don't don't, don't misinterpret. It. You know what I'm saying? Because I loved what I was doing. I loved it, man. But, you know, again, let me, and one more thing. I just want to uh, uh, reiterate one thing, too. It's your show. It's your show. When people would say, oh, well, when, when people were saying, oh, you know what? Well, your son only wins because a judge, you're a judge and, and you're a referee. And you know what I would do? I would take my son, both of them, to their gym on a, on a lowdown. So that I wouldn't make it so obvious. And I would say, hey, man, how you doing, guys? You know, I say, hey. And I knew they had sparring for Ryan. I knew it. Trust me, bro. But again, I'm on a lowdown. I'm not going to say. <laughs> but my plan, my plan was to go over there and prove to them that, hey, man, it don't matter if I was a judge or if I was a referee. Ryan ended up kicking their asses, bro. 
I mean, really bad. And all they would do is turn around and say, hey, bro, your son doesn't need anybody, bro. He's bad. He's bad. See, so I would, and I did it, I'm not kidding you, I did it around eh, seven to ten times because I, I knew who were my haters were. Remember, you you have haters back then too, mm -hmm. okay? So I had to I had to prove to them that, hey, man, my son's for real, man. We've been doing this since he was seven years old. So once again, I only did it because at that time, I didn't have the money to put him in a hotel. So... USA was kind enough to say, hey, if you volunteer, we'll pay for your hotel. And why not, man? I recommend everybody doing that, you know, providing you qualify, of course. Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> now your background and as far as coaching is mm -hmm. concerned, obviously you could yeah. learn so much being a judge and a referee yeah. of this amateur mm -hmm. program. So how did you when did you get into like the coaching? Was it Ryan or was it what was it? Well, I, I, I boxed in Chicago with my brother. You know, that's where we all came from. You know, we, we started boxing and we started, you know, learning all this. Um, and it was really interesting because back then you wouldn't have a headgear. So it's like you get hit, man. You get hit hard. But, you know, we would have to hit back. But, you know, I, I started realizing, hey, man, I got I got brains for this stuff. You know, I don't want to be, you know, I mean, if you don't know how to box, I would, I would recommend uh, everybody to not box because, uh, it's a it's a tough sport, you know, but I, you know, I, what I did, I said, well, you know, what? I'd rather use my brain just, you know, learning how to box. So my brother helped me a lot. And then Ryan, of course, he says, Dad, you know, um, you got to come with me. I said, of course, I'm going to come with. You. I said, I'm going to learn it, too. You know, I mean, just like anything else, you just grow into it. And since he was seven years old when we started, I mean, by the time he's 18 years old, don't you think I have enough experience oh, wow. of training? I mean, right. I was training him left and right. I was doing mitts. And I was doing everything. I love it. It's just, it's, it's, you just got to learn it. It's just like anything else, bro. You want to be a mechanic? Give yourself a good three years, bro. You're going to be a good mechanic. <laughs> so, um, but hey, let me tell you something. I got this. I mean, I, I'm a little excited right now, but um, let me tell you. Good. There's a big difference between being a coach, yeah. a trainer, and an assistant.